so fearless. And just to know that you're leaving your daughter behind and your family and, and you're going to be pretty much part of our history and start over again. And absolutely, you will have social media to stay in contact with the family, but they're not tangible. They're not there. You're not there every day waking up with them, going to the movies with your daughter, watching her, you know, grow up and, and get married. And, and how does that, does that even cross your mind? Have you had that conversation with your daughter? I do, and she's been so great and fully supportive over what I want to do. And um, you know, a lot of a lot of people initially are just so negative about it, but she's she's been absolutely fantastic and great about the whole thing. And I think um, for us, it's just taking it day by day, seeing how far I can get. Um, because though you know, I'm not I'm not there yet. I haven't been selected to be one of the four that gets to go. And uh, it's just a day-to-day -day process. But having having my family support um, and my friends support definitely means a lot. So. <laughs> well, you have uh, 10 years yeah. before possibly uh, getting yeah. to that mission. So with that said, uh, tell us a list of things that you would love to accomplish between now and the actual mission. And how do you want to be remembered here on Earth? I really, really would love um, to experience the training that Mars One would give us. I mean, and they talk about the isolation chambers and things. That that sounds exciting to me. You know, being out in the desert and, and having all these challenges thrown at you, it's exciting for me. And, I, and I've, I've got to do things in the military, um, working as a combat medic, you know. Yeah. And I, I just think it's something that I've always dreamt of, getting to fly through and go visit other planets. I mean, how could you say no to that? I know other people are just very happy being in their homes, but I've always reached out and wanted more. And I never thought I would get the opportunity to do that because I'm not, you know, an expert in math or some of these other subjects. And I, I just, I couldn't waste any time uh, of flying. So I'm so happy and thrilled that I've even made it this far. <laughs> I think, without a doubt, the 11 years of serving the U.S. Army uh, molded you to be so, like, um, just have that, that, that fever of just wanting to do things and, and be adventurous and not be scared and just go for it. And that's amazing. I admire that because a lot of us here on Earth, you know, we're just uh, always holding back on doing different, uh, being challenged in life. And you're just such an open, transparent parent individual that's just willing to just go for it all you know that's amazing so I think Mars needs a poet <laughs> what was that I think Mars needs a poet so they need to send me <laughs> Mars will have everything with you okay even laughter <laughs> you'll be the Martian Ross <laughs> the Martian Ross so, uh, speaking of children, um, we know that uh, the ability to conceive a child in Mars um, in reduced gravity is not known yet, um, and there's not enough research whether the fetus will actually be um, normal under those circumstances. So, um, how do you feel about the possibility of uh, wanting another child um, in Mars? Well, honestly, I don't... I don't think that's something that I would have to worry about. I'm, I'm pushing 40, I'm 36, so by the time, you know, I'd even get to go to Mars, I think my childbearing days would be over with. But um, I'm curious to know, and I think it, it'll be a long time before we get our habitats and everything that um, even have medical care to be able to deliver babies. I mean, people went all the way back into the dark ages when people having children without any kind of medical care and dying, so um, I think we should probably hold off <laughs> for a little while for having babies, but we just don't know. We don't know um, how that would work. Hey, you never know. <laughs> you might fall in love with a, you might fall in love with a Martian. <laughs> I don't know, I'm going to be too busy doing, you know, my job and exploring Mars. And, I know. You know of course. I'm not going to have to worry about those types of relationships. So. so it's very clear that you have no fears at all about having that, that opportunity to be the very first crew to land on Mars. No fears. 
Is that correct? I have I have fear of being the first crew to go because you just you don't know about the landings and I know they're gonna you know send out um things there before they actually send the first floor to make sure that everything happens properly. But uh being the first floor, that's probably my biggest fear. Yeah. You know, because it's the the unknown and that's the probably the thing that I fear the most in life is the unknown. But if you already had people established there, you know, you'd have those routine set and I don't think there'd be as much fear. But being being the first floor is definitely um <laughs> I agree. I mean, if you were like the 10th or 15th uh, crew, then maybe you would be a lot more tranquil. But I, I, I definitely relate on the, the of being nerve, nervous and just being that first group landing and not knowing what's going to happen. And of course, we know that um, the project is currently using um, existing technology and there's a lot of studies um, before we get to that mission. Um, why don't you uh, let us know uh, what are the things that you're going to miss the most from Earth? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna miss animals and fresh air, beach, <laughs> my my friends. Um, but definitely my pets because I love animals a lot. So and I don't know if there would ever be a time that we'd be able to have you know, animals on Mars living in the habitat with us. So, um, leaving my pets behind will be definitely a challenge. And I love vegan food, so, you know, fresh home-cooked vegan meals and family time and the holidays and, and that kind of stuff will be a challenge to get through. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, it's been such a pleasure to have you with us live here on uh, WatchHollywood.tv, and we would love to stay in contact with you, see your progress in all your endeavors, and just be part of your life, and uh, stay connected also through our show and follow us. We would love to have you as one of our um, consistent uh, supporters of our show. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me on. Bye. I'll send you a big hug. Uh, yes, virtual hug. Big hug. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Bye.